We now return you to the bitter nuts, already in progress. Just a minute. Coming. Do I have to do everything around here? How would you describe what? Mrs. B, I just came from King Rupert, and he asked me to give you this. What is it? An invitation to the royal ball. <laughs> We're going to the ball. Ain't you excited? Oh, he's never been excited in his life. <laughs> Toring, if there's anything we own that you need for your journey, why, just help yourself. It's yours. Why, thank you, Mrs. B. Of course, I'd love it if you'd take the mister over there. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Put that down. That's my best trivet. Aw, oh, Mom, let him have it. You haven't cooked since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's right. Go on, take it. <laughs> but don't go taking anything else, you hear? And good luck in your quest, young man. Hey, any chance of you taking Junior along with you? None whatsoever, I'm afraid. But uh, thanks for the trivet, Mrs. B. Hurry, Boog. Hop in. Be sure to join us next time when we hear Bobby Bitter Not Ask. That was in my pants. <laughs> the Bitter Nuts is not filmed before a live audience. I've got it! Pee-you! What a stench! I wonder what's inside there. Boogle, can you be a worm? Check back inside there. I bet it's a way out of this land. Yeah, I bet it's dark in there. What are we gonna do? Boogle, turn into a lantern so we can see what's back there. Wow, Boogle. It looks brown and soft and smells terrible. We've just got to have some of that. Uh, say, Boogle, <laughs> would you mind being a shovel? <laughs> 
I say, be a shovel. Okay, Boogle, turn back into a worm again and get out of there. But don't forget our sample. My name is Torin. Hey, get out of here! Oh, tripe, you're such a grump. Hello, young man. Yeah. Hello, may I walk past? But of course. No! This is our ledge! Why don't you just jump off? Tripe? Oh, just ignore him. He's just a grumpy old stick in the bowels. Don't talk to him, Viscera. He must be up to no good. I don't like him. Besides that, he's ugly. Ugly? Well... Yeah, you're ugly. You're skinny and, and tall. Why, I've only seen one person tall as you. Trap! Stop it! Come to think of it, young man, you do remind me of someone hereabouts. Someone special, too. Royalty. She'd be quite a catch for someone that looks like, uh, someone of your, uh, appearance. She? Oh, really? But, uh, I'm not in the habit of taking dating advice from a vulture. On the other hand, I would like to get past you so I could head up those steps. Would you mind if I asked you to move from your nest? Mind? Of course not. Thank you. Don't mind, cause I ain't gonna. Now, Tripe, we could go for a little flight. I know my wing is a stretch. Nope. My wing is fine. Not moving. Happy right here. I hereby order you to fly away. And I order you to shut up. And, perchance, did I forget to mention? Go away! There's just no reasoning with him when he's in one of his moods. Yeah, and I'm always in one. Boop! Yeah, right. You know, he has only one thing on his mind. His stomach. Maybe some dead meat will come flying by here. You never know. Thanks for nothing. Hey, Vulture! Try and catch this! Hey, Viscera, look at that! Fresh dead meat, flying! Hey, let's go after it! As always, I'm with you. Can't you hurry up a little? It's getting away from us! For goodness sake, for once in your life, can't you just stop and smell the rotting meat? What's that beside that little tree? Oh, I think we can make it, Boog. <laughs> 